Today we're going to talk about operational procedures on the BRX418 brush cutter. The same features that we talk about in operations go through our whole product line on our industrial brush cutters. But safety is first and utmost. These are a very high efficiency machine, but there's some safety involved. When operating this machine, it will throw debris up to 300 feet. You always have to be cautious of that. This open front end right here, you need to let the flywheel come to rest before you get out to do any service work on this tool. So with that said, let's go operate it and we'll talk a little bit about the procedures and the functions. Okay, I've entered the machine. As we talked about safety first, always attach your seat belt, lower your armrest, adjust your seat, as an operator, you want to get yourself comfortable. We're going to start the machine up. Now that the machine's running, in order to operate this BRX418, you will want to go over here and use your continuous flow switch. It's four buttons back. On the right hand overhead panel, you press it one time and you'll have a flashing light in your advanced machine display in the upper right hand corner. That is telling you that the machine is ready and actively armed to have continuous flow. Another function and feature of this machine is going to be the creep control. The creep control function works by allowing the operator to set his ground speed at a certain speed by incrementing up and down through the number system of 1 through 20 on an advanced machine display. Okay, we're going to get ready to start the machine up and start operating. But always look at the field of vision. Make sure there's nobody or any property in the way that can get debris thrown at it. Always keep that in mind. So here we go. In order to raise it up, release the parking brake, right joystick back, and I'm going to go ahead and get the machine in position to start mowing. So when you get ready to engage the continuous flow which starts the flywheel you want to go at about mid throttle range slowly ramp up the right roller switch which is number two when you want to go up and you want to run that all the way forward as far as you can push it give it about three seconds and the light is going to come on solid on your advanced machine display indicator you want to set your ground speed. So a really good way to do that is that on the left joystick, bottom left button on the outside, press that down once and you're going to get your creep control function up on your advanced machine display. With that, you're going to have the numbers of 1 through 20 as we mentioned. I currently have set it about 10, but I'm going to set it up to about 14. That will allow me to maintain my ground speed and have full control. So. Engines all the way up on RPMs, I'm ready to roll. You want to set your mower down with the shoes or the skids flat on the ground. Just touch it. You want to constantly keep looking your field of vision ahead of you. Make sure there's nothing in the way that could cause damage to both the tool or the machine. This machine is designed to cut up to an 8 inch tree. So all your multiple rows, manzanini, all the heavy brush stuff will be no obstacle to this press cutter. I can see now that we can run much faster the material that we're cutting. So I ramped up to about 17 on the creep control. But when you go to run up a slope and you're running a large mower, always keep in mind that you want to flow share oil from your high stat. That is the real advantage of having the advanced machine display, the creep control function with the advanced machine display. That allows the operator to set his ground speed at a comfortable level to operate and allow both the mower and the machine to match each other for speed. Come 
into an area that you need to turn, you can make nice gentle turns with the skids on the ground. But if you're going to make a full turn, it's better on the tool and the machine if you raise the skids up off the ground as you make your turn. When entering into heavy brush, it's easier when you make multiple passes because you never know what the, not knowing what's in front of you, it's easier to take pieces of it at a time. A heavy push bar that is welded in the front there, it helps a lot on flattening out the brush. The brush. BRX 418. You want to idle the engine down. Take it down to about half throttle. And then when you get ready to take it out of continuous flow, you can do so by pulling down on the right roller switch on the right joystick, or you can hit the continuous flow button one time and it will shut it off. Take the engine on down to low idle. The large heavy flywheel is going to run for a bit until it quits spinning. Do not get out in front of the brush cutter. Let the machine cool down for two to three minutes at low idle. And what that's doing, it's allowing the hydraulic oil as well as the engine coolant to run through the radiator and the fan, cooling that oil, that hot oil temperature off and bringing it down. That will extend the life of your machine.